Welcome back. You're watching CBC Evening News at 4. Now, more than 100 armed hoodlums believed to be members of community policing youth vanguard attacked Amuwa Dauphin local government secretariat on Monday, shooting sporadically into the air and injuring council officials in what the local government describes as an attempt to frustrate its campaign against criminal activities in the council area. And now to talk more on this, I'm joined in the studio live by the chairman of Amuwa Dauphin local government area, Ayodili Ayo. Ayo, thank you for coming on CBC News. Thank you so much. Now, what exactly happened on Monday? Well, we were in the local government. I had just finished a meeting with a representative of the MDG. They had come from the presidency. Oh. And uh, just about that time also, I was playing host to uh, the Taxi Driver Association of Lagos State. Suddenly, I saw people running into the council. And I looked back and started hearing gunshots. So immediately, immediately I stood up, looked through the window very well, and I saw lots of hoodlums, numbering up to about 100. If not for the bravery of the NSCDC armed guards that were protecting the local government, perhaps by now I would have been slaughtered. We've been having this issue for over two years now with ACP Dan Okoro, who had turned the local government into a criminal then. ACP Dan Okoro believes that he can use criminals to fight crime. And he put up this group called Pol Community Policing Youth Vanguard. And we asked a question from him that where did you derive the power to create such a group? And that even if you must do this, there must be some level of uh, uh, authority behind it, either from the Nigerian Constitution or the Police Service Act which we've searched and we've not seen anything. And if you're saying people are there to fight crime, we must know the address, we must profile them, mm -hmm. and they must be registered. How it, certain are you that these hoodlums were sent by the area E commander? We've been having battles with him. This is not the first time. If you go to his office, you meet them there. In fact, the leader named Onwa is, is an agent of Mr. Dan Okoro. You fight Fata Onifadi Akpashe, who has been fingered into several pipeline vandalization in the local government, also go there regularly. He comes to have meeting with them at a certain school around Fourth Avenue. He has legitimized commercial motorcycle within the local government at areas that have been restricted by law of Lagos State. Can you substantiate this claim? Yes, we have video clips. Okay. We have video clips to substantiate it. We have some of them who had confirmed and, uh, and also attested to it on camera. In fact, they were put together in his office and he has also taken them to the Commissioner of Police of Lagos oh, State. We, we need to get those clips to, you know, um, give You can Google, Google, go okay. to YouTube, go to YouTube, type my name on it. You see several videos. So you actually upload yes, we have uploaded these all these videos on YouTube. Yes. Now, what kind of battles have you been having with the Area E commander? Well, we have a lot of black spots within the local government. One of such is at Todd, Todd Gate by Alakija. Mm. We also had one around First Gate. We have one around Stonefield. We have one around the Mautu Local Housing Estate. We have what we call a Security Council meeting. At that platform, various security agencies within the local government meet with me regularly on a monthly basis. And the summation of it, through our report, is sent to the state governor. Then the resident association is also there. Then you have the Federal Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. So all of these components put together moderate the activity within the local government. So they brought all of these issues on board and said, look, there's a need for us to treat all these matters. We've had account of people going to work in the early hours of the day, about 6 a.m. At gunpoint, their laptops are taken, some are raped, mm -hmm. their phones are taken, and readily we inform the police at the Security Council meeting to take action. But to our amazement, things have not been done. There was an instance where the lag boss was robbed back to back three times in a week. And lag boss had to pull out of the local government. So this thing has continued to happen on a basis. So are you saying what he has against you is that you're trying to fight crime? Is he not also tr fighting crime? He's benefiting from crime. He's not fighting crime. And I challenge the press to do some forensic investigation in the local government and ask people around. What is the rate of crime in a mode of a local government? Are people safe in the local government? Are these black, black spots in existence or not? 
do we have an environmental orderliness in many of these areas that we have been pointed out? Expansiate more on your campaign against criminal activities in the council area. Our campaign has been laundered through the CDAs and the resident association. In fact, before we do anything in the local government, we get feedback from the community dwellers. And of course, the Federal Housing Authority also has its laws. It has its laws and there are some certain things that you don't do within these estates. You find a situation whereby someone wakes up in the morning, like Fatah Onifadi, and establish an OPC base at 41 Road. And when I saw the name of Dr. Frederick Fasheng on it, I was, I was put aback. Immediately I called Dr. Fasheng if he knew anything about that, 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 that structure. And doctor said no, he does not know anything about it. Okay, now with all of these battles going on, what is the Commissioner of Police and indeed the Governor doing? Well, we have written several petitions to the Governor of Lagos State. The matter has been investigated. We have also written to the Lagos State House of Assembly. The Assembly have instituted a committee headed by the majority leader of the House. They visited the government, mm. they visited the CP, and in fact tomorrow they are submitting the report at their plenary. I've also written to the IG on this matter, I've written to the AIG Zone 2, I've written to the CP. As I sit here, my security arm guard was withdrawn after I issued a disclaimer that a move out of a local government was not patronizing fake military officers, as alleged by the CP, after Mr. Dan Okoro has misinformed them. And that night, 10 p.m., my arm guards were withdrawn without any notification. Uh, Daily Ayo, many thanks to you for coming on CVC News. Uh, we do appreciate your opinion on the issue. Uh, would of course would investigate the matter and uh, bring more news on it. Many Thank thanks you so to you much. Again.